Super Saiyan Son Goku! Hey guys, RS Chaos Master here. How's it going? Uh, so, today I am going to do a Dragon Ball Z related video. Uh, I'm going to do an unboxing and show you guys something else that I got that I'm pretty excited about. But uh, first, let's do this unboxing. This is the Dragon Ball Z Evolution starter deck for Dragon Ball Z card game. Um, so first we're going to unbox this, then I'm going to show you guys something else, and then we're just going to take a trip back to the Dragon Ball Z trading card game uh, throughout the years. So yeah, uh, let's go ahead and start this. So let me open this up. <laughs> oh yeah. There are, I think, at least 10 different personalities you could get. So the fact that I just pulled Goku is pretty awesome because uh, obviously Goku is my favorite character and I already have, I pulled Goku from the first starter deck I bought so the chances of that are pretty slim I would say. But uh, here's the deck, here's this, and then of course the most important thing in this is definitely this. Dragon Ball Z Evolution rule book. Oh boy. There's all the rules for you guys. Yeah. Okay, so let's open this up. At least I think I pulled Goku. I guess we'll find out for sure. But I think I pulled Goku. Oh yeah, I did. Goku relaxed. Goku motivated. Goku calm. Goku Dashing. Those are awesome. And then Blue Tag Team Mastery with uh, Piccolo and Gohan. And then I also pulled Android 17. That's awesome. Blue Wrist Block. Blue Fist Catch. Blue Betrayal. <laughs> Blue Betrayal. <laughs> yeah, that has to suck. When that happened. I couldn't even imagine. And then blue biting drill. Of course, the only thing I really care about are these right here. These are quite different than the uh, original Dragon Ball Z cards, but I'll, I'll let you see that in a second. Let's open your standard deck. I'm pretty sure it's standard. It's going to be the same every time. It's still nice to look through it. Tian Shinhan, Blue Round Throw, Blue Crouch, Blue Narrow Escape, a lot of blues. Blue Stretch Kick, Blue Defensive, okay. Oh, there it is, Blue Betrayal. Okay. I'm going to take a guess that their next Star Deck set when they release it will be the Cell Saga, I would think. I could be wrong because this is the Androids. That one's cool. Blue Kit, or Blue Key Build Up. Sorry, Blue Key. So there's that. Next thing I want to show you guys is this, which I was really excited when I got this because I don't have, I don't play the Dragon Ball Z card game. I don't know if you guys know that or not. It was, it's just not my type of card game, but I do collect them, which is obvious because I bought that, but that doesn't mean I still can't find use for this. Dragon Ball Z trading card game, Matt. Uh, I play Magic the Gathering, so... I have a new mat to use when I'm playing Magic the Gathering, which is awesome. Uh, the only critiques I have for this is I wish Goku would have been Super Saiyan, but eh, whatever. 
still pretty nice. It's the Saiyan Saga, so yeah, I guess it makes sense that he's not Super Saiyan, but still pretty cool. So this is my newest mat. And now for the last probably three or four minutes of this video, we are going to look at the Dragon Ball Z cards over the years. And see what differences we see. So these are the newest ones. I, I really I really like what they did for this second set. If you if you look, it's really hard. They're really, really shiny. The first set was really, really shiny. Not as easy to see the character. But if we look at the new ones. You know, a lot easier to see Goku. This was this is the original Goku from the very first set. Now if I pull this out, which I'm going to, you guys can see it's thicker than this is. Like I don't know if I can show you card wise it's thicker, but I think it'll I don't know if you guys can tell or not, but yeah, it's definitely a thicker card. So back to what I was saying, yeah, uh, this is the Gohan they used, uh, Gohan Super Saiyan, should have said Super Saiyan 2, but meh. We'll flip to the next page. There's Vegeta, there's Frieza. You guys can just look at the evolution of the card game itself. You can just tell, like here's Android 17, there's Android 17 there. The art style is even better on these new cards. So if you're a collector and you don't have Dragon Ball Z cards, but you're a collector and you like cards in general, I recommend just going with the uh, new ones because they're just better detail, better everything. Here's another Android 17 for comparison. They just look they look newer because they are newer and they just look better the art style is better and then we got into GT and what they decide to do is these clear cards where you would place this over your standard main personality card and then you'd have fighting power level you know higher and the ability there uh, could be anything so that was interesting as well but I like this card a lot, Bardock. Of course, Bardock is up there in my favorite characters, so. There's Goku as well. And that's it as far as the Dragon Ball Z cards go. Uh, I hope you guys like this uh, stroll down memory lane. Thumbs up if you like the video. Comment, rate, subscribe. Uh, Again, like I said in my last video, I've hit 500 subscribers, which is absolutely awesome. Um, but uh, other than that, we'll talk to you later, YouTube. Thanks. Bye.